Hi there and welcome to this week's golf equipment Q&A. Uh, I'm Valerie Melvin, I'm here with Frank Thomas and we are here in South Africa where we just successfully launched our certified putting instructor course. South Africa is a wonderful country and if you have a chance to visit, certainly come along and experience it. There's some wonderful wildlife, but don't worry, that's not real. <laughs> um, Frank, the question this week was from Harold. Harold wanted to know, do you feel that some of the recent equipment regulation has been sort of stifling the game and affecting the growth of the game? Uh, Harold, I've just addressed the golf course management group uh, here at the PGA Tel Telecom Championship and um, uh, that particular issue was brought up. Uh, the answer to your question is no, I don't think that the regulations that the USGA and RNA have adopted recently and for equipment have uh, had a detrimental effect on the, on the game, uh, but I don't think they've helped. Uh, I think that we need to identify some of the problems that uh, are contributing to the, the decrease in participation and our website we have a, a, an extensive report on, on, on a survey that we did and I think there are some issues um, there that we need to, to consider very carefully. Now, I think the money spent on, on some of the recent equipment regulations should be, would be very much better redirected towards identifying the real problems the game has and then finding solutions for those problems. Very good, Frank. Well, thanks for that. We'll be back in touch next week, but until then... May the frog be with you. Ribbit. 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 Find your frog at franklyfrog.com. Ribbit.